Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at how you can use the ADLM2000 module as a standalone data logger. We log temperature data on a thumb drive using a shell script which will be called directly on the module. For this tutorial you'll need the following, an USB OTG cable, a USB flash drive, the AD22100 voltage temperature sensor, one resistor of 1 kilo ohm, and one capacitor of 0.1 microfarads. Let's start by building the circuit as shown in the schematic. Pause the video and make sure you get all the connections right. To control the module, we will be using M2K CLI. This is a command line front end for the ADLM2000, which is comprised of the following components, each representing a major functionality of the module. Analog in for the oscilloscope and the voltmeter, analog out for the signal generator, digital for the logic analyzer and pattern generator, and finally the power supply. M2K CLI offers an easy way to communicate with other devices using digital protocols such as SPI, I2C, UART and UART terminal. For Windows users, you need to check the Install LibM2K Tools option in the Select Additional Tasks window of the installer. For Linux users, there are no extra steps required as the tool is contained in the packages. To install the tool, macOS users will currently have to build the library from source as per the instructions on the wiki page. The commands are provided in the video description. In the next release, M2K CLI will be included in all the packages. For a more detailed description of each component and its subsequent commands, check out the M2K CLI wiki page. You'll notice that among the example scripts provided with the tool on GitHub, there is a data logger example. This is the script we'll use for our experiment. With the circuit built and the connections made, let's test it out on the computer first. Connect the module to the computer using the USB connector in the middle. Let's have a closer look at our example. Notice that each time an M2K CLI command is called, the URI of the device is given as an argument. The example uses the local backend as default, so it can automatically run on the device. M2K CLI is contained in firmware version 0.28, which is why these commands can run locally. In order to be able to connect via other backends, USB, IP, you need to pass the URI to the script as a command line argument. After calibrating the ADC and powering up the sensor, this script will read a voltage value every TS seconds. The value of TS is 600 by default, but it can be changed to fit your needs. The voltage value is converted to temperature based on the sensor's transfer function. The final result is written to an output file. If you have only one device connected and you want to use the USB backend, you can use the auto option like I'm doing here. If we call the script, let it run for a while and then look at our output file, we can see that several temperature readings were recorded. In order to have this run locally on the module, there are a couple things that need tuning. To achieve this, we'll make use of the USB OTG functionality. The ADLM2000 supports USB on the go, which allows running applications from USB drives. The ADLM2000 will auto mount any USB mass storage device, such as your thumb drive. The auto mounter will then look for special file names, runme 0 through 9sh which it will run as a shell script run me 0 through 9, which it will run as a binary file. So copy the data logger example to your USB thumb drive and rename it to runme.sh. Unplug the USB from the computer, but keep the hardware connections. Connect the USB OTG cable with the thumb drive attached to the USB connector in the middle. We'll use the other USB connector of the M2K to power up the module. Notice that once powered up, LED1 stops blinking. This means that the application is running. You can let it run for as long as you need to. Let's have a look at the data after this script ran for a whole day. Open the output file from your thumb drive into your favorite spreadsheet and plot it. As you can see, the registered temperatures in this case range from 25.5 to 29 degrees Celsius. This concludes the M2K data logger tutorial. If you've got any other questions, feel free to ask us on the Engineer Zone forum in the virtual classroom section. Thanks for watching.